Ah, look at that water. <laughs> Location, Central Mediterranean Sea. See, they can't call it Atlantis because that would be spoilers. I mean, yeah, Central Mediterranean Sea. Um, right, so I already told you guys that I, I'd already played this game for a little bit, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, and I also told you I didn't beat it when I was a kid? Yeah, well, that's cool. It came across my DVDs, and yay. I really wanted to actually play this game on the uh, 10th anniversary DVD that came out on the Mac, but, um, yeah, that costs money, so I'd rather just play my old scratched-up copies. Oh, I forgot to hold E! Oh, it's okay. I'm not going to find the Easter eggs anyways. Gage, oh. remember the smooth, sultry voice? It's uh, me, Arthur! Hi, Arthur. The Robin to your Batman, the Jekyll to your... Heckle, the thing to your thing. Your cheese to your crackers. Why the long face? You remember me, right? Dimples! Remember the... <laughs> uh, from your blank stare, I would say that you don't. Oh well, I'm not hurt. But if you don't mind, I'm gonna take a look around and make myself at home. Maybe I uh, do uh, mind. While I'm checking things out, I have a message from your pen pal. Agent 3? Yes, Miss Joy. She left it for whoever found the suit. <laughs> My jumpsuit's the cause of the distortion wave. Once Arthur sends it to the TSA, the crisis will be over. I know everyone believes I'm a traitor, and I can't change that. God, I'm so thirsty. But what I have discovered Shut up. is so incredible that I'm willing to turn myself in. Mm. But I can't risk being imprisoned before my discoveries investigated. So, you will follow my trail and see what I have seen. I have hidden three pieces of a time code that will lead you right to me. The first code piece is hidden in this environment, not far from here. Arthur has the coordinates for the other two time zones. You will soon figure out why I placed the codes where I did. In two of the environments, you want to go to the highest vantage point, but in the other, go to the lowest. I implore you, keep your eyes and your mind open, and remember that your first duty is to history. The good news is, I know why you don't know me. The bad news is, you were mind wiped. Two months ago, you were taken from the past to help save your neck in the future. Together, we stopped Agent 3's plot to frame you. But I got zapped into the time stream with her in the process. Once your name was cleared, the TSA sent you back to your own time without any memory of the adventure, so you don't remember me. But we're back now. <laughs> Together, we'll find Agent 3 and bring her back alive. Oh, this will be more exciting than a pair of pants full of geckos. Awesome. I'm glad he actually did the recap of the other game if you hadn't played it. Just like before, I'll display icons for you to talk with me. <sighs> yeah, you will. If I have a comment, the thought icon will illuminate. If you want my sage advice, Which I always check the do. light bulb and see if I have any help. Oh, cool. and I took the liberty of moving into the old translator biochip. So, I'll be your universal translator now. The new coordinates are in your jump menu. Lead on, Gage. I wonder if I could just use, like, can I just, oh, I could. Um, right, so, um, right now he's got a little speech bubble. According to history, this uncharted island never existed. However, we are relatively close to Thera, an island that erupted in a huge volcanic explosion a few hundred years ago. The crater it left became the island of Santorini. And uh, he'll just say stupid stuff. Sometimes it's a joke, and sometimes it's a historical fact. Um, and other times he's got a little light bulb. Now the light bulb used at least in the other games. Um, oh, there's the light bulb. Um, th those would uh, would like they would deduct from your points. Um, I don't think that this game has points though, so I'm not too worried about it. And even if it did, I'm not really gonna. Um, I'm not gonna care. I mean, I'm gonna need these hints because, as I said, if we overcome these stairs, we could get to the top of the windmill and have a nice view of this entire island. But I don't see any other way to go up other than those broken stairs. Maybe if I threw your legs over that bottom step and climbed up your spine. <laughs> God, I wish I had a body. <laughs> but like I said, uh, uh, I never beat the game when I was a kid. And uh, outside of the uh, 30 some minutes I played earlier, I'm a little lost as to what I'm going to meet. Uh, I, mean, I, like, I don't even think I ever played the Himalayan. Um, uh, Himalayan zone, but I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, I'm going to like desperately abuse Arthur because uh, as I said earlier He's like the reason to play the game and I know right now I'm missing something he wants to tell me But uh, you know in the beginning of the game and that whatever. derelict boat seems to be in Ooh. a hurry to leave the island. Hold on. There's somebody on that boat. Yeah, 
Telezoom. Enhance. Space happy, but I swear that's Dr. Elliot Sinclair. <laughs> it's like an episode of the CSI. Oh yeah. Time travel. No, the guy who the died. Guy you put away for 10 to 20 at Vega Thalen. Oh yeah, that happened like Could be Sinclair's distant cousin. First game, right? You know what that means? Baldness is hereditary. Ah. Uh, <laughs> actually, I can. I don't, I don't need to again. Um. Oh, cool. The destruction of Thera had far-reaching consequences. From about 1950 to 1450 BC, the Minoans of Crete ruled the Mediterranean during the golden age of their civilization. When Thera erupted around 1450 BC, volcanic ash from 70 miles away covered Crete, while tidal waves flooded the island cities, wiping out the great Minoan nation. It was later proposed by archaeologists that the lost continent of Atlantis could have shared the same fate. That building was not dilapidated from natural erosion. I would say that it looks freshly smashed. Hmm. Who would have it in for a windmill? Agent 3. She punched it with Don't her fists now, of doom. But that broken windmill is staring you down. You're no Don Quixote, but I think you can take it. <laughs> if we only had some sort of climbing device. Rope ladder! Hmm. Let's see. Rhymes with Pope Bladder? Oh no, the stairs are wasted. My parents are gonna be pissed. Poor Arthur. Now, uh, oh, that's a little frightening. Um, yeah, like the first, the first uh, couple levels, uh, they got this level and the two others for the um, three things. Whatever those things are, I don't even know what we're exactly picking up, but uh, it's the trail that Agent 3 left behind. Um, these levels are a little, uh, well, I mean, they're, 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 it's, they're like tutorial missions without actually telling you that it's a tutorial mission. You know, they're, they're here to try to kind of train you to get the game. I think, like, this this, this place has one item. It's the, it's the rope. Like, it, <laughs> it's, woo! <laughs> it's not exactly uh, hard to figure out where it needs to be used, but um, I think we're done, actually, uh, with this place now that we're at the top. Of this level. This island isn't deserted. It's been attacked. Actually, kind of beautiful. Something destroyed the city's seawalls and flooded it. Um, yeah, Agent 3 said that we need to go to the, uh, the highest vantage points of two places and then um, the lowest of another. So, obviously, this is the highest. I doubt she would have this written location. the code into anything permanent. She probably would have traced it in sand, dirt, maybe even human blood. A message maybe. she knew would not stay permanently. Like Look, in sand. Sure it's right under your nose. Hmm. Now we get another video to watch. Things blowing up apparently. That doesn't look safe. No, oh, well, I mean that. Now that definitely doesn't look safe. Boom. The alien just spirit bombed it. That Atlantis. Sorolan ship completely leveled that building. Sorolan. But the Sorolans are supposed to be the good guys. The founders of the Symbiotry. Why would our allies attack? We need to get to the bottom of this. Let me check out the time code. The time code you found is one third of a temporal coordinate. With the other two pieces, I can triangulate Agent 3's location. Oh, that's what those are. Where'd you come from? You found one of the codes. I assume I have your interest peaked. Now, find the other pieces. There's still much more to see. The nerve of her. Coming <laughs> in here, taking over my space. Next thing you know, she'll be cleaning up my workbench. <laughs> what do you got to say, Arthur? We're in a null time pocket gauge. If this place was a verb, it would be regurgitate. That's Agent 3 and I discovered it when we were thrown into the time stream. Not a terribly exciting place to honeymoon, but I figured it was safer than where we just were. Can I turn into... Nice. <laughs> Gage, I think you're good for about 900 more flushes. Ugh. Gage, help! We're trapped inside your screensaver! <laughs> Who uses screensavers anymore anyways? They got the little power saver. Energy, uh, energy star power saver just goes to that blank screen. 
I need to install, uh, what was it? Um, uh, After Dark with the flying uh, toasters. I want to waste Either 20 Agent bucks. Either Agent 3 has sent us to languish in a deep well, or we shrank into your turtleneck. <laughs> uh, ooh, you got a light bulb. If this well works like I think it does. Pulling that lever on the wall drops the stone slab over the floor drain. Like that. water to fill the well. Or with our luck, it unleashes the well-dwelling piranha. All right, how do we get out of here? Uh... Talk. Next time we vacation in the past, I'll bring my swim trunks. So what's next? Bungee jumping off the pyramids? Bull leaping in Crete? Oh, cool. Um, yeah, I was uh, even doing it earlier. Um, I totally forgot to mention uh, the, the double arrows. Um, I can hold it down and continue on to the next location. Pretty sure that that became a standard in um. Ooh. Whatever tore through here seemed intent on breaking and scorching everything. From what I can tell of the remains, the former culture was very advanced, and judging from the shape of this plateau, they mastered terrace farming techniques. Although they probably should. Do you hear that noise? Ah. Sounds like there's some kind of commotion going you on. You interrupted in the yourself, Arthur. Um, right, it became kind of a standard in adventure games, so, um, nothing new to see there, but it's, it's really cool. I wish I could be, um, um, I could go into the settings and have the video playback speed, you know, go twice as fast, but then it just looks weird, you know, Gage is hopping around like a little bunny rabbit. Um, and I know that there's two other, um, uh, playthroughs, I don't know if they utilized, uh, the feature or not, this, that same feature. And I know there's two other playthroughs, uh, already on YouTube, um, one was like eight parts long. The guy finished in like ten minutes, right? And the other guy finished in like forty parts. So uh, I'm gonna try and beat forty part guy, even though he's really cool. He made that awesome Easter egg video. Showed all the Easter eggs. Um, get on we him. We need to find a way to bring that lower balloon down to our level. Whatever mechanism they use to manipulate the balloon is broken. Oh god, you're right. Um, isn't there like a little? There's a fire. There's a fire pokey pokey fire thingy. Um. I got a. Oh, okay. Did I miss something? That's not good. Well, never mind. Okay. <laughs> That's it, folks. I've already lost. I can't get past the. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. We've you got a little light bulb. most of this plateau, and we haven't found that time code piece. Agent Man, 3 said that there. in two of the environments, we needed to get to the highest vantage point. I know, I said that. Those balloons look like they have a good view. Oh god. Well now I feel like an idiot. Um There could not have possibly been two items in the same location. You know, I'm 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 just saying what like five minutes ago. Oh a honky door, too easy, blah blah blah, one item. <laughs> oh yeah, wait, you can go behind the house, huh? Is it back here? Oh come game you trolling Alright, Arthur. You could like chirp up now. It'd be kind of cool. You get a little idea. Uh, your big artificial brain and whatnot. 